What is an LDL particle, which is often referred to as, quote, bad cholesterol? It is a lipoprotein, a low-density lipoprotein, in which there is a single molecule of apolipoprotein B100, which serves as a major protein in this particle. There are 80 to 100 additional proteins, uh, which don't seem to be as consequential. There is a range of about 3,000 to 6,000 lipid molecules in an LDL particle, including about 1,500 cholesterol molecules. In the hydrophobic core of the LDL, there are free cholesterol molecules, and then cholesterol esters, where cholesterol molecules have been joined through an ester bond to a fatty acid. Around this core are additional free cholesterol uh, molecules. Fatty acids also compose uh, a portion of the LDL particle, and the superficial layer includes a number of phospholipids. LDL particles can be converted into oxidized LDL particles, in which cholesterol molecules fatty acids, and proteins are oxidized. LDL particles, which are oxidized, have different properties than LDL particles, which are not. Oxidized LDLs attract circulating monocytes. Oxidized LDLs make macrophages more likely to remain in the vessel wall rather than leave. Oxidized LDLs are taken up more quickly into macrophages because they utilize different receptors, the macrophage scavenger receptors. Oxidized LDLs can even change gene expression within the macrophage. In this comparison of two patients, the patient on the left with the lower risk of heart disease only has LDL particles in their blood vessel wall. The monocytes are not attracted, and so they do not leave the blood to enter the blood vessel in the patient on the left, while in the patient on the right, the oxidized LDL particles do attract the monocytes, which then leave the blood for the blood vessel wall. In the patient on the left, monocytes which leave the blood to enter the blood vessel wall may return to the blood or migrate elsewhere, while in the patient on the right, the oxidized LDL particles make it more likely that the uh, macrophages which uh, develop in the blood vessel wall will remain there. Oxidized LDL particles can be taken into macrophages using different receptors, the macrophage scavenger receptors, and thus macrophages are more likely to become foam cells in the presence of oxidized LDL particles. The oxidized LDL particles can even change the genes which the macrophages uh, then express. So this is a different cell in uh, a lesion which has oxidized LDL particles than one would find in an arterial wall that simply had LDL particles.